All right, guys, so really um, last minute kind of plan. So I've been just advised to go to the Busa Lookout, which is in the Cebu, half an hour from here, which is IT Park. And this gentleman here, he's going to take me on his bike. So it's apparently pretty high lookout. So we're going to go there and hopefully get some nice views. So stand by when you get there. All right, so after a struggle, we finally arrived at this uh, lookout point. So this is not a proper one. The one that's proper, it's actually closed at the moment because of construction. But this parking lot also kind of give you a vantage point from where you can look out into the Cebu city. I'll tell you a little bit more about the struggle to get here. But to give you a first perspective, have a look at this one here. So this is Busai. It's really um, up high, hilly area of uh, Cebu. And you can see the whole Cebu city, definitely the smoke or the fog is falling down. It's been overcast there today. Anyway, so the visibility isn't as good, but if it wasn't that building over there was closed due to construction, we would have been going up there that's good good lookouts from here like pretty high and from the from the IT park to here it took us half an hour and this guy's bike isn't the best in the world like in terms of it's just not as powerful and I could I could hear it struggling it was vibrating like like no tomorrow it's like crazy vibration like I'm not talking about shaking it's like a vibrating he was on like a low gear and some of the ascents were like 45 degrees in an angle and I'm like mate I'm not the probably the best person to be on a bike along with the guys very similar size to me guys make sure if you come in here on a bike it's got a strong enough engine or I'm trying to look for like a new kind of bike I'm paying him 500 pesos so he drove me from IT park to here and then he's gonna drop me back to the mad monkey not bad like for 500 pesos which is like 15 dollars especially uh, his bike it wasn't the best so i kind of feel sorry for him but it's all right he got a business out of it hopefully his bike's not damaged so I'm not sure if you can see the roads from here windy windy road like i wanted to make a video while i was on the bike and usually I'm all right doing that, but today the windy road and he was punching it because he's trying to compensate and not get to the point where the bike's going to roll back. And I don't know how many times there was, I think there was a couple of times the bike was literally, I think it's gonna, it was going to roll back, but it struggled. It continued to just, you know, climb up with a super, super slow pace. I don't know how did he manage to balance. So I'm like, you know what, I'm not going to be stupid and get my camera out, start making videos while I'm even struggling to balance and stay on the bike. There, there were times, actually I thought, and I'm not even lying, like legit I thought uh, we were going to um, like slip off the road because he wouldn't slow down because he didn't want to let the bike go slow enough to lose that momentum. So I know what he's trying to do. I used to ride bikes. So I know that you want to do that momentum. You're going to keep it going. But it felt so scary at times. And the road is, isn't the best. It had like roadworks. It was better for madness. But it's all right. Um, instead of walking around in the IT park, I think this is you know something different. Ideally, it would have been nicer to come here on a nice day. Uh, that's the road you can see. I think, I think we did come from that road there. So in half an hour, making up all this height, you can imagine it would have, it would have been a hell of an angle. Yeah, definitely made it just before the clouds are fully rolled in. I can, I can start to see the city disappearing. Yeah, you can hardly see anything now, but there are a few people. Yeah, we can go inside. We can, inside. we can go inside. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, so managed to come into one of these
places, which is just kind of like a lookout by the restaurant. But before that, thank you so much. So the deal here is that you kind of buy a ticket, which is like a 200 peso. You can use that voucher to on the consumables here, so you can buy a drink, buy food, and this place actually looks pretty fancy. I was gonna have coffee, but I already had two today, so I think I reached out to my max. But this place looks pretty fine, and I did see actually the stairs, so let me see if I can actually go. Give a bit of a tour, actually, this looks really nice. It's got a nice fine bar, a bit cellar, ice creams. I think it's called. Lava, lava parisina or something. A uh, very, very cute place. So here we are. A bit more. So the actual place is close, but this is not too bad. Hey guys. How are we? Oh, it's definitely raining. Good setting, good in dinner. All right, I think I'm confusing people, but this is what it is. Okay, this looks a bit, bit old, but very leathery smell I can smell here. All right, continues. I'm not sure if I want to really go and explore more. A very, very classic place. Worth a look at, but I think I just missed it, but hopefully that was good enough. Find it useful, give it a thumbs up. See you in my future videos and make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. And press the bell icon. There will be more stuff coming up. I'm flying into Cologne tomorrow. It's a super early morning flight and there will be more stuff coming up. Hope to see you in those. See ya.